Just like any other state, Maryland does have its cons and its reasons people do not love living here. And in this video, I'm gonna break them down all for you. Some of them you would have never guessed. Welcome back, Sean McGrady here with another video. This is the premier channel to learn all about Maryland living, what it's like to eat, sleep, play, and live here. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I'm coming out with videos on a weekly basis. I'm helping clients all the time, just like you here through YouTube to help find their dream home here in Maryland. If that's something that interests you, you're on your way here, or you just have any questions, feel free to reach out, give me a phone call, text, email, days, nights, weekends, I got your back. So now let's learn about the things people do not like about living here in Maryland. Nobody likes traffic, including myself, but here in Maryland, there is some areas that you're just bound to hit traffic on your daily commute to work or when you're going into a bigger city like DC or Baltimore. Now the three main highways that I see the most congestion for rush hour or just on a daily basis is gonna be I-695 going into Baltimore or Towson, I-270 going into DC, as well as I-495, which is the belt loop around DC. The traffic is not horrible. If you've lived here for a little while, you kind of just shift your mindset and you're just kind of used to leaving a little bit earlier than you would, knowing that there's a possibility that you might be in a traffic jam getting to your destination. Another one of those things that people don't like doing here is paying taxes. And for the most part, nobody likes paying taxes. But here in Maryland, the way it's broken down is that you're gonna be paying your state income tax as well as county tax, depending on the county you live in within Maryland. State income tax here in Maryland, it's gonna be capped out at 5.75%. The way this breaks down is based off of the amount you're making per year. So if you're making $250,000 or more, you're gonna be put at that higher bracket of 5.75%. On top of that state income tax, you're gonna be charged county tax. Within Maryland, there's a bunch of counties and it all depends on the county that you're living in, what percentage that you'll be charged that on top of your state income tax. Another thing you should be aware of while living here in Maryland or thinking about moving to Maryland is that there is a high cost of living here. Now in 2022, the average cost of a home was $375,000. And in Maryland, the average cost was $407,000. Now the closer you get to DC, those prices are gonna be a lot more and it brings the average higher. Now, if you get into the Western part into Hagerstown or Frostburg, or Middletown, you'll realize that the cost of living is a little bit lower. To be able to get into a home is a little bit lower than what you'll see in North Potomac, Chevy Chase, or Bethesda in the MoCo area, otherwise known as Montgomery County. Now let's talk about one of those things that people either love or they hate about living here in Maryland, and that is the weather. The summers here are hot and humid. The winter time, it is cold. There can be snow some years. Some years there's not too much snow. Like this year, we have not gotten a lot of snow, but other times we've gotten a stupid amount of snow. So it all depends. And then there's a little bit of rain here and there. It's just an average amount of rain while you're living here in Maryland. Some people love this weather, some people hate it. I prefer the warm weather, but I've gotten used to living here in Maryland. So now let's talk some things that are kind of funny and I'm dead serious about, but not a lot of people think about before moving here to Maryland. Now, one of those things is the state pride here. People will tell you one way or another that they are from Maryland, whether that be from the bumper sticker on their car with the crab, or that be Old Bay they're pouring on everything you see them eat, or that be the state flag on the tailgate of their truck, as well as University of Maryland dropping a 100-foot flag down the student section for all its sporting events. You should also know that your wallet might be a little thin after you move here if you love sports. You have the Washington Commanders, also known as the Washington Redskins, the Washington Nationals, baseball team, Washington Capitals, which is the hockey team. And then if you go on over to Baltimore, you have the Baltimore Orioles or the Baltimore Ravens. So if you love sports, just be aware that you may be spending a little bit more money than you thought when you're moving here. So that wraps us up here. I hope I helped you. I wanted to break it down by the main portions like uh, traffic, or you have weather that people actually don't like about living here in Maryland. But I also wanna throw in things that maybe a local would only be able to tell you, like the Old Bay or people loving crabs. I, you probably already know that because if you've met a Marylander, they've already told you about it. And if you have any questions or you're looking to move this area, 
Feel free to give me a phone call, text, email, days, nights, weekends. I'm here to help you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.